Bruh. What? What's up everybody, Belligerent here with another Bloodline video, and we're talking Wide Eye today. They just dropped the video to give us a preview of the clan, which they've started doing. So let's take a look at them and decide whether or not this is an event that you're going to want to go in on. Are these champions that are going to be relevant in our meta? Now, obviously, this is just speculation. Stay tuned because we're going to do play testing as soon as they come out. We're running the gauntlet of the event as soon as they drop. And then so very early on in the event, we're going to have some feedback from actual play testing. But right now, all we have to do is kind of go off what they're showing us, what they're telling us, what the skills are. So let's take a look. First, we're going to start taking a look at the male YI. His passive is when you're present, the gain effect of all enemy attacks is reduced by 40%. So what they said in the video is that this is going to reduce any types of buffs that the enemy gets. So this guy looks like he is set up to be the female Lionstone counter. There's other things that he can counter, but we all know that female Lionstone is the target if you're giving a champion the ability to reduce buffs. So, that is big right there. Let's take a look at what the rest of them are. So, his active, he casts a totem for five seconds every one second, causing an attack uh, damage to a random enemy and also stunning them for 1.5 seconds. Okay. For me, this ability is huge, and it's not even about the damage, and I know, I know, I know what everybody's belligerent, it's only 0.5 seconds, it's not about the length of time that the stun is, it's just that it's a stun, it's an interrupt, so you're going to interrupt attacks, which is going to slow down energy gain, you're going to interrupt abilities, you're going to interrupt a lot of stuff, and it happens five times, okay? So that's big to me. I really like that stun effect on that ability. And then his ultimate casts a bloodthirsty totem. All your character's attack speed will be increased by 20% and the attack power will increase by 200% lasting 5 seconds. Y'all know what that is, right? That is a baby F lion stone. Okay? He doesn't have quite as much strength increase, okay? Only about half, actually. But you, it's 200, it's still 200%, okay? That's big. That is a female Lionstone mini version as far as the ultimate is concerned. All right. So let's take a look at the female now. Her passive, for every one normal attack, gains a layer of bestial blood and stacks up to 20 layers okay that plays into her ultimate which we'll see here in a minute her active is when the champion's health is over 50 percent, she casts a fury totem which reduce in your team's attack power being increased by 80 percent for five seconds when the health is below 50 percent, you cast a trembling totem which reduces the enemy's attack by 80 percent for five seconds so this one is zing, zing. Like, okay, so the 80% buff is off the top of my head. I believe that's the third largest attack buff behind female Lionstone and male White Eye. It's also an active, so it should give you some uptime on attack buffs that are different than Lionstone and male White Eye will. Okay? The problem is it's an active. So the t it's going to be almost impossible to time it to go off the way you want, kind of how you can with the ultimate. And it's health related, so you can't actually kind of plan it or anything. You can't do any type of speed tuning for it as far as like which one you want going. I personally would rather have just the 80% reduction the whole entire time. Um 
So it's an interesting one. Like this one, I really got to wait and see how it's going to play out when we get her on the battlefield and how effective it's going to be. It sounds good, but I don't know that it will be good in practice. And then Strength of the Fallen consumes all layer of bestial blood to cast a healing totem, which restores all teammates' health by 90% and the caster's attack every second. Each layer of bestial blood increases the healing effect by an additional 5%. The totem lasts for three seconds. Now, this one, it's healing, so we never know how it's going to work. It doesn't necessarily sound super strong, but have you seen the video? Have you seen it? If you haven't, go watch it. Here's a little clip. That healing feels kind of broken. It looks a little crazy, but again, we don't know how souped up she was for that video. We don't know what level, what stars they're using for in that video. But that healing ability looks pretty strong. So overall, what's our overall impression of Wide Eye? Should you get in on the Wide Eye event? Uh, is this going to be a champion that you want to add to your, to your champion pool? Is it one that you want to put in your main team? Uh, what, do, what do you think? What do you think? Well, this is what I think. I think White Eye is going to be a must-have champion, especially the male. I'm much higher on the male than I am the female, but the female I have some hopes for after seeing that video, but you're not going to play them both, especially because they're, oh, we forgot to talk about their trait. They gave us their clan trait. So their clan trait is basically tenacious for everybody. Which, so it gives the entire team shields, okay, for the first, uh, I believe it's 10 seconds of the match. That's tenacious, basically. So nobody needs to put tenacious on your champions anymore. Not that you really should have been in the first place. But it doesn't stack. So... There's, you lose value when you put, if you're going to try and play both of them, I don't think you have enough room on your board to play both of these. So it's going to be one or the other. I have a feeling the male is going to find board space over the female, but either way, I think like, especially because the male is a, is the counter to female lion stone and is another female lion stone mini me version, essentially, I think he's going to have to be on your board. I think the White Eye Clan is definitely something that if you can invest in the uh, the clan event, it's something you need to do. That's what I think. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm belligerent. Peace.